Welcome to What Happened This Week, a video series where we take a look back at some of the main events from history. What were the events? Who were the main characters? When did this all happen? Let's find out. November the 1st. 1755, the Lisbon earthquake kills more than 50,000 people in Portugal. The 1755 Lisbon earthquake, also known as the Great Lisbon Earthquake, impacted Portugal, the Iberian Peninsula and northwest Africa on the morning of Saturday the 1st of November at around 9.40 local time. In combination with subsequent fires and a tsunami, the earthquake almost totally destroyed Lisbon and adjoining areas. Seismologists today estimate that the Lisbon earthquake had a magnitude of at least 8.4 with its epicentre in the Atlantic Ocean about 200 kilometres west of Cape St Vincent and about 290 kilometres southwest of Lisbon. Chronologically, it was the third known large-scale earthquake to hit the city. There had been another one in 1321 and another in 1531. Estimates place the death toll in Lisbon alone at between 30 and 50,000 people, making it one of the deadliest earthquakes in history. 1952, Ivy Mike, the first thermonuclear weapon to utilise the H-bomb design of Edward Teller and Stanislaw Ulam is detonated in the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean. Ivy Mike was the codename given to the first full-scale test of a thermonuclear device in which part of the explosive yield comes from nuclear fusion. Ivy Mike was detonated on November 1st, 1952 by the United States on the island of Eluge Lab in the now independent island nation of the Marshall Islands as part of Operation Ivy. It was the first full test of the Teller Ulan design, a stage fusion device. Happy birthday to Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, at 60 years old. November 2nd, 1875, Verney Cameron reaches Benguela in Angola from Africa's east coast. He was the first European to cross equatorial Africa. In 1949, the Netherlands recognises its former colony, Indonesia, as a sovereign state. In 2020, Baby Shark by Pink Fong becomes the most watched video on YouTube with over 7 billion views. And now in 2021, it has reached 9.5 billion views. Today we mark the birth of Daniel Boone, born in 1734. Boone was an American pioneer and frontiersman whose exploits made him one of the first folk heroes of the United States. Boone became famous for his exploration and settlement of what is now Kentucky, which was then beyond the western borders of the 13 colonies. Despite resistance from American Indians, for whom Kentucky was a traditional hunting ground, in 1775 Boone blazed the wilderness road through the Cumberland Gap and into Kentucky. There he founded Boonesboro, one of the first English-speaking settlements west of the Appalachian Mountains. By the end of the 18th century, more than 200,000 people had entered Kentucky by following the route marked by Boone. He lived until September 26, 1920, aged 85, when he died of natural causes. November 3rd. In 1534, the English Parliament passes the Act of Supremacy, making King Henry VIII and all subsequent monarchs the head of the Church of England. In 1957, the Soviet Union launches Sputnik II, with space dog Laika aboard, who was the first animal in space. This pains me as an animal lover, but Laika would never see Earth again. Laika was a stray that had been picked up on the streets of Moscow. At the time, there was no technology or plans to bring her back to Earth. So what happened to her? Although Moscow long insisted that she had expired painlessly after about a week in orbit, an official with the Institute for Biological Problems leaked the truth in 2002. Laika died from panic and overheating within hours of takeoff. The spacecraft circled Earth every hour and 42 minutes, travelling at 18,000 miles per hour, but after five to seven hours into the flight, all signs of life received from the spacecraft stopped. Over five months later, after 2,570 orbits, Sputnik 2, including Laika's remains, disintegrated during re-entry into Earth on April the 14th in 1958. In 1991, Ayrton Senna wins the Australian Grand Prix in Adelaide, the shortest F1 race ever run at 14 laps because of wet conditions. Senna retains his third World Drivers Championship by 24 points from Nigel Mansell. And today we mark the birthday of Charles Bronson, born in 1921. Bronson was an American actor famous for his roles in The Great Escape, The Dirty Dozen, The Magnificent Seven. He died on August 30th in 2003 of pneumonia. 
We also mark the death of Alfred Wengener, the German polar scientist, geophysicist and meteorologist. He died in 1930, age 50, and was famous for developing and publicising the theory of continental drift. Wengener showed that the continents had split apart and drifted away from one another over geological time. He published his theory in his full book, The Origin of Continents and Oceans, in 1915. November 4th, 1841, and the first wagon train arrives in California. In 1841, the first emigrant wagon train led by John Bartleson and John Bidwell in a party of 69 people headed for California. It left Independence, Missouri on May 1st, 1841 and reached California on November 4th. Two years later, wagon trains began branching to the north onto the Oregon Trail leading to the Pacific Northwest. 1862 and Dr. Richard Gatlin patents the Gatlin machine gun in Indianapolis. One of the best-known early rapid-fire firearms, the Gatling gun, saw occasional use by the Union forces during the American Civil War, which was the first time it was employed in combat, and is still used to this day with more modern versions fitted to the A-10 Thunderbolt aircraft. In 1922, Howard Carter discovers the tomb of Tutankhamun in Egypt. The tomb is the best-preserved pharaonic tomb ever found in the Valley of the Kings. And in 2008, Barack Obama becomes the first African-American to be elected President of the United States, defeating Republican candidate John McCain. Famous birthdays? Today we have Matthew McConaughey, age 51, and also Puff Daddy, or P. Diddy, also age 51. We also mark the death of Michael Crichton, the author of Jurassic Park and the Andromeda Strain, who passed away age 66 in 2008 from cancer. November the 5th. 1605 and the Gunpowder Plot. Catholic conspirator Guy Fawkes attempts to blow up King James I and the British Parliament. The plot was discovered, Guy Fawkes was caught, tortured and later executed along with seven others. November the 5th is celebrated ever since as Guy Fawkes Day in the UK, where his effigy is traditionally burned on a bonfire accompanied by fireworks. And today we say happy birthday to Brian Adams, born in 1959, and is 61 years old today, one of the world's best-selling music artists and Canadian rock artists of all time. His single, Everything I Do, I Do It For You, sat at number one in the UK singles chart for 16 weeks, making it the second longest running UK number one of all time. November the 6th. In 1860, Republican Abraham Lincoln of Illinois is elected the 16th President of the United States of America. In 1917, the Bolshevik Revolution begins with the bombardment of the Winter Palace in Petrograd during the Russian October Revolution. And today we mark the birth of James Naismith. Born in 1861, Naismith went on to write the rule book and invent the sport of basketball in 1891. November the 7th, and it's all gone presidential. In 2000, the controversial US presidential election between George W. Bush and Al Gore is inconclusive. The result, in Bush's favour, is eventually resolved by the Supreme Court. And in 2020, former Vice President Joe Biden is declared the winner of the US presidential race four days after the US election, defeating the sitting President Donald Trump. Today we mark the birth of Mary Curie. Born in 1867, Curie went on to conduct pioneering research on radioactivity, the chemical element radium and polonium, in which she won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903. She was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize, and in 1911 became the first person to win the Nobel Prize in two scientific fields. Her daughter, Irene Joliot Curie, also went on to win a Nobel Prize in chemistry. And that concludes this week's historical roundup. If there are any events that you are interested in finding out more about, please let me know and I will do a dedicated video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video. But before you go, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of the next instalment.